a while ago, I didn't let gold did a song that we all love, Ire, and he did the Ire challenge. Now, that video you just watched was the challenge presented by our guest. Her name is Banker Music, and she decided to do a cover of Adekunle Gold's Ire. Today, she's here not to talk about Adekunle's song, but she's going to talk about her own song. But first of all, let's get to hear Banker's song. Enjoy the song. I'm guessing it's Miro, but we'll find out right now. And right after that, we'll be speaking with Banker. Please don't go away. All right, welcome back. That is the beautiful video of the beautiful Banker, and it is such a delight to finally meet you. I've been a fan of yours before I finally got to meet you. Thank you. Good to have you. Tell me, how are you doing, Banker? I'm fine, thank you. Your music is explosive. Thank and your you. voice is... <gasps> So beautiful. Yes. Let's talk about that, your song that we just watched. So we okay. just watched the Mirror video. Yes. But the lyrics are not... Tell us about what inspired that, that story. Oh, okay, Mirror is about Banke. And Banke is the girl that doesn't want to be like anyone else or doesn't want to do what everybody is doing just because she wants to get there. And it was a message for me and for everyone. I mean, you, you, you want to get this. You want to achieve that. You want to achieve this. But you don't know what they have gone through. You don't know what they have done. To get to that level and you just want to get there just like that but i'm like you know what you can't do this you don't look at yourself in the mirror just take your time you're the first of them all you will get there your time will come and yeah it was just about banking so mm. so it was some sort of encouragement yes <laughs> if i may dig a little deeper mm. was it born by any you was it born out of any specific experience because we often hear stories of people telling us the challenges that they encounter in the music industry or in any other industry, if I, if I must say. Okay. So was there any specific encounter that you, you went through and you decided, no, Banke, you have to write about this, you have to put this in a song? No. It was more like, okay, I wanted to write a song that was about Banke, but did not have the name Banke in it. So it was just like I was experimenting and it just came out. So it was not like, oh, we're writing because this happened to me, we're going to write about it. Nah, it was more like, I want to write a song about Banke, but I didn't want to outrightly say, this is me, this is what I'm going through. And I just wrote it and just came out. <laughs> Lovely. And it came out very beautiful too. Thank you. you. Know, your high notes everywhere. But I'm going to say, did you study music? Yes. Like, okay, where, what school? Obafemi Awolowo University. Great in fair. Great. <laughs> <laughs> Sube, Obafemi is not the greatest. <laughs> My university is the greatest. Shout out to all the Ife people. So everybody is going to rep their university at the yeah. end of the day. What university is that only? Delso, Greg, Delso. Seriously. Hey, are we going to do the battle of the universities? Please, what university did you attend? Unical. I mean, Malabres. Please. Please, what's that? I, I, I mean, Malabres. What's the name? Unical. <laughs> okay, so you studied music in um, Obafemi Awolo University, OAU. And when you told your parents you wanted to study music, what was their reaction? Okay, so my dad filled my jam phone for me, and he put music there. So it was there was no struggle or anything. It was more like, okay, we can see that you're really good at this. Because I started when I was in secondary school, and it was like, okay, this girl, she's, the only thing you like is music. You will go for music competitions. You will do this music, math, mathematics. All of a sudden, I, di I was not interested. I just wanted to do music. And then they saw it, and then they, they encouraged me. They did Your not. parents are the real, they are the MVP. Yes. Really, because <laughs> they didn't try to pressure you. No. Music is such a beautiful course. And I'm, I'm really starting to get excited by the fact that we have a new generation of parents that are not no. foreseen to either do law or medicine or accountancy no. or engineering <laughs> and then tell you, either those four or nothing else. We're starting no. to see parents who are realizing the real potential that young people have. I mean, I'm not using my law degree at the end of the day. You know, so at the end of the day, we find that parents are now encouraging their children to pursue their talent. So yeah. kudos to Bank parents. You are indeed the real MVP. Yes. But how has your journey in music been so far since, you know, you came into the music industry? Because, okay. of course, you know you're in. Yes. Forget what anybody says. <laughs> yeah. So how has it been so far from graduating last year yeah. till, you know, you re releasing singles and all of that? How has it been? Okay, so I started off teaching a crutch. I, I wanted to see children, so I, I did that for a bit, and then I went into content creation on Instagram. And then I moved again. I was just, okay, do you know what? Let me just do my Instagram. Let me face Instagram. Maybe I would find something there. I started posting videos of myself. I started doing little skits, and I was doing songs of celebrities, and then they kept on reposting. So that helped me get my own fan base and 
I was like, okay, that's fine. And then people now started asking, oh, Banka, let's hear your own song now. Let's do, do um, when are we going to listen to your own thing now? Because it was more of covers. It was not Banka. It was just Banka covering a celebrity's song. And then I did my own song. And it was beautiful. I started performing at events. I went for basement gig. I went for all live. And then people started seeing me. I'm like, ah, this girl can't even perform live. So Banka performing live now was different from Banka recording. And I'm, I'm more of, let's perform live, as in, please, let's do this music right. And so you it, prefer to perform live? Yes. Of course, we're going to put you on the spot. That guitar is not for decoration. <laughs> you're going to perform live. But speaking about performing, what genre of music would you say you do? I know the first time I heard you, mm. it was classical. Yes. Your voice was piercing the ceiling, and I'm like, oh my God, who is this girl in Nigeria that can scream to the heavens? <laughs> you're, yeah, yeah, I want to hear a little bit of that. Do you want to do a freestyle? Just a little freestyle. I don't know. Stay holy for Something like that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, what, what other genres of music would you say that you you like to experiment mm. with, or you like to do? Pop. I'm I'm into pop. So like a fusion of everything, alternative, classical, but it has to be pop. So it's if we're doing Afro beats, pop. If we're doing EDM, pop. So it's more of just a fusion of everything, just to get that vibe. I don't want to restrict myself to one thing because in school, we did not do one thing. We were like everywhere. Like we're doing this, we're doing that because you studied music so you need to know about this music. And um, I feel like I've been trained to just understand every type of journey doing that. So, yeah. <laughs> I can say you really know your onion and that's a very, very good thing. Thank you. And I believe that um, by the time you'll be raising the roof here, Olive will be... Let's say that I'm, I'm well prepared, you know, I'm, I'm excited, I'm well prepared about this. Let's also talk about, you mentioned earlier that you did a lot of covers for celebrities yeah. and them having reposted your songs and your videos yeah. helped you gain traction to your page and helped you create your own fan base. Yeah. Who would you say are some of the top most celebs that influenced your career in that regard that supported you when nobody knew Banke? When nobody knew Banke. Let's see. It was, we have Waje, she reposted. We have Adekunle Gold, we have Yemi Alade, and Imam My God, yes. Oh, so Waje, Adekunle Gold, Yemi Alade, and Imam My God. So thank you to these people, because at the end of the day, Banke would always tell her story and remember <laughs> you, seeing how yes. you've supported her career so far. Some people like to write when they are very excited. Some people like to write songs when they are very sad. Mm -hmm. Which category do you belong to? Sad. <laughs> Uh -huh. Sad and hard. See, the two. <laughs> Tell us about it. The song that you wrote when that boy broke your heart. I mean, no, I don't even have a song. Funny enough, I don't have a like a heartbreak song. The song I just released is more of a very happy, vibey song. It's not. It's not. I, I think it's light. It's more about Christmas. I just wanted that happy vibe and that sweet. You know, I mean, we we can't be sad all the time. So let's have something sweet. And then I did that. I did lights. That's mine. Esther, are you ready to have a feel of this last song she did? I think so. Right? Really? Yes. Oh. Well, are you sure you wouldn't, you wouldn't give us a little feel? Let's just feel it a little bit. All right? Okay. Okay, go ahead. The guitar is yours. Do you want to oh. use the guitar for that? No, I can sing it. All right. I'm going to let my light shine. So come and let your light shine. I'm going to let my light shine. So baby, let your light shine. The funny thing is my oh, pet name is Baby. Oh, oh, so you're oh, singing to me. Eh. Hey, hey, watch me shine, my beautiful light. You yeah. remind me of, in a way, of Avril Lavigne. Who would you say are some of your greatest musical influences? Hmm. You seem like the Avril Lavigne of Nigeria. Really? Yeah. <laughs> nah. so no, I listen to Christina Aguilera, Tori Kelly, um, Beyonce. I listen to Beyonce, I listen to Rihanna. Yeah. Listen, those are the people I listen to. All right, so let's take a sneak peek at Banker's music. When we come back, Banker will be throwing us out of the show into a fantastic Friday with her guitar. But for now, enjoy this one by Banker. To enjoy more of these our Ugonke videos when you just watch, press this button to subscribe on top of our YouTube page. You go love her.